Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music, wherever it may be, and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Backstage Bar and Billiards, or Triple B as the locals call it, to review an awesome show full of fun, surprises, and awesome music. This show was put on by JK Productions and featured The Forest, Late Night Savior, Two Shadows, Friends of the Channel, Madzilla, and The Patterns. Unfortunately, the band Retrograde had to pull out the last second due to their drummer sustaining a foot injury. Uh, we wish him speedy recovery. Now then, who's ready to rock? This video is brought to you by LastPass. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Located on the corner of 6th Street and Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas, Backstage Bar and Billiards and its sister venue next door, Fremont Country Club, are an amazing place to see some awesome shows. You can catch my review of the venue in another video on this channel. As for the show, it promised to be exciting and even a little different than expected. Opening up the show was The Patterns, a local band whose singer seemed to be channeling Robert Smith from The Cure. Blending elements of emo and shoegaze rock with a little synth pop, this act was a great choice to open up the show. The growing crowd was into them, and even though this was primarily a metal show, the overall vibe was positive and the audience gave them tons of love. As the singer switched from keyboards to guitar, the last song was definitely more rocking and set the stage nicely for the following act. That would be the decidedly heavier act known as Madzilla who have been on the channel before. Coming out of the gate swinging, Madzilla put on a clinic in technical high-energy metal. Their dynamic stage presence matched their heavy but catchy music for intensity, and, and as an added bonus, they unveiled not only a new guitarist, but a new song called A Deadly Threat as well. I look forward to uh, hopefully reviewing it in the future, so stay tuned. Next up were Two Shadows, a band all the way from Canada. Fusing theatricality with showmanship, this high-energy group definitely had the crowd in the palm of their hand. Brutal breakdowns and guitar technicality were in evidence, and it was obvious that most of the people in attendance were there for them, with uh, many of the audience leaving after their set. Which begs the question, why? I mean, you paid for the whole ticket, right? Why not show up for the whole show and stick around too? I never understood this mentality, and I would honestly like some help in the comments section to understand this. Okay, rant over. Back to the review. But first... And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Want to know a universal truth? Passwords are a pain. Want to know another one? Having only one password makes everything a lot easier. That's what I use. LastPass to secure my online presence. LastPass is like autopilot for all your passwords, giving you peace of mind wherever you go online. With over 33 million people using it and plans ranging from free to $4 a month, it's a great way to secure your privacy and save you time and frustration and hassle trying to remember which password goes where. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a Teams subscription for only $4 a month. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to LastPass for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. The second to last act was Late Night Savior, making the drive from Utah to grace the stage. With some sonic augmentation from laptop tracks and a heavy bottom end from the bass and kick drum, this band definitely brought the heavy, mixing in some melodic metal elements and uh, it kept the listeners interested and gave the vocals and instrumentation room to breathe and be heard. They were a great segue to the final act of the night, which was Local Act The Forest, finishing things out with a bang. Combining indie rock with metal, this band showed everyone why they were the headliners. Melodic moments were punctuated by guttural vocals and heavy drops, and there was just enough chugging and blast beats to please every kind of metalhead. It was a great way to finish a great night of metal. And other stuff. Can you tell them at a metal show? 
Overall, this show was one for the books, and I'm happy I was able to catch it. Make sure you use the social media handles down in the description for each act that I've talked about in this video so you can follow and find out where they're playing next. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you will check out all the social media handles down in the description. And, uh, yeah, let them know Room 6 sent you. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up there. If you want to subscribe, I'd love you. Click up there, and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified. Uh, if you want to hear my own music, which is not heavy metal, click over there. And remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.